Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the desktop tools in Active Inspire. In order to access those tools, we first need to open up the Active Inspire application. Double click, it opens up. And we have a blank document. Some people choose to just create a blank document and leave it on their desktop so that it's easily accessible anytime they want to use those tools. So I'm going to do that. Save. Change the name to desktop. Save. And if I move this down, close that, you'll see here's my desktop flip chart there. Very handy on my computer desktop. So here we are in Active Inspire, and I want to take a look at the desktop tools. I can simply click on the icon in my toolbox. I can go up to the main menu in my toolbox, click, go to Tools, and the flyout menu, here's Desktop Tools. Or I can go up to my menu bar, click on Tools, and there's desktop tools. So three different places you can find that. Once I click on that, it looks like Active Inspire has disappeared, but it's actually just hidden. It's still available. Here's my Inspire menu. And in the middle of my screen, I have this little circular icon with my same desktop tools picture. And if I mouse over that, I have all these other icons that pop out. This is called the Wonder Wheel. Mousing over each of the icons shows us what they do. So all the different labels up here. The first one we're going to take a look at is Express Poll. We'll look at this in greater detail in Modules 4 and 5, but clicking there we get another little Wonder Wheel and mousing over we see what our options are and when you're finished with your vote simply click on the red circle with the X and it's gone. Back to our desktop tools wonder wheel. The next one we're going to look at, it looks like a video camera and that's our screen recorder. And we're going to be looking at the screen recorder more in module 10. The screen recorder allows you to capture what you see and what you hear on the screen. So the information can be used as a review, as independent work, um, perhaps a student is absent and you want to provide the same content that the students who were there received. So the screen recorder is a good way to do that. You can also use the screen recorder to capture student work as they come up to the board and perhaps demonstrate and explain their thinking. You can use the screen recorder to capture that information. The next one we're going to mouse over here is more tools. Unlike the more tools icon in our toolbox, this is fixed. We can't add or delete any tools. We have the dice roller. Click on that. You can select how many dice to use. Perhaps you're playing a math game and you want to roll. Roll. You can change the speed so it rolls more quickly. You can change the number of die. Perhaps you're doing a Yahtzee game. There you go. And clicking output to flip chart. If I go back to my flip chart, there's my total. Close the dice roller. Back to the desktop tools. Calculator obviously is a calculator. You can enter numbers using your keyboard on your computer or you can simply click. Very handy. Close that up. The next one is the sound recorder. If you want to just record the sound in the room, click on that. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Then we have the clock. The clock is another very handy tool. We'll take a look at that in a future module. And the ticker tape allows you to have a message that goes across the top of your screen. There we go. And you can adjust the speed. 
a little too quick there. There we go. So if you want to have a message that's appearing across the top, across the top of your screen. And there's my text. So we'll close that out. Next, we're going to look at the camera tool. Um, the camera tool gives you lots of different options for capturing visual images that are on your computer screen. We'll look at that in greater detail later on in this module. The next one is the on-screen keyboard. If you're away from your computer, it allows you to type text. And the next icon is simply a link to the Promethean Planet website. The last icon isn't a tool, it's simply navigation. It returns you back to your original flip chart. Click there and you're back in. Oh, and look, here's my sound that I recorded. Testing, testing, one, two. And here's my information from my dice roll. And that's a quick look at desktop tools.